Okay, so it looks like I have finally succeeded to a certain extent in bringing in a video for Chroma Keen inside of the Unreal Game Engine. Uh, so far, I've been able to figure out a lot of things just out of brute force. Everybody keeps telling me you shouldn't be doing it. Uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. You should be doing it in After Effects, blah, 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 you know. Um, whatever. Um, I really want to be able to make this work. So, and it looks like I am getting somewhere with it, you know, and, uh, I have, I just don't understand why everybody's so adamant in me using After Effects, which I'm still going to use, but the purpose of this is to have the, the characters, uh, interact within the environment. And, you know, truth be told, uh, this procedure is really easy inside of iClone. It's just drag and drop the video. It just works, you know, with the pop video format. But it's a proprietary format. It's very limited. And there's not a lot of assets out there. I'm not a 3D guy. You know, I'm not a developer, definitely. And um, so I can't see myself spending all these countless hours modeling and, you know, texturing stuff. Uh, the Unreal uh, Marketplace just happens to have a lot of game assets already available that I can use for my environments. And uh, and that's the primary driving force for me to use this game engine, not to mention that it just makes everything look beautiful. Um, so right now, uh, I finally was able to figure out how to create a, uh, a texture with a um, chroma key setup. Now, I'm sure I'm still doing this completely wrong. Uh, I have no idea, man. I, I'm such a newbie at this stuff. I mean, so it's ridiculous. I bought this cell shading um, uh, collection pack thing um, off of the marketplace because I figure, you know, uh, if, if I can do some kind of cell shading effect on the backgrounds, on the environment, I might make, I might get them to like match the colors of my main characters a lot easier. And the instructions seem very simple enough, you know. Uh, <laughs> I even contacted the, the the author of that pack, and he copied and pasted the the, the instructions to me um, via Discord. And of course, you know, like one of the steps is, uh, you know, uh, drag uh, place a blah 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 material into the da da da. And I'm like, okay, dude, but. How do I do that? <laughs> so I'm, I'm at the stage where I'm such a noob that I don't even know how to do the basic stuff. And to be messing around with this stuff, I mean, it, 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 it's actually kind of fun to be figuring stuff out. I don't know if I have this kind of time right now because I really do need to be moving forward with the project. And like I say, you know, uh, doing this inside of iClone probably would allow me to just kind of get everything done because it's really fast with the pop video format, just drag and drop it and place it in 3D space. But uh, that program is so buggy and uh, closed ecosystem oriented. And I just, I, just, I, I just can't see myself continuing to work with that program, you know? I bought a bunch of plugins for that thing, uh, hoping that I was gonna use them at some point. And now when I'm finally, you know, two, two, two and a half years later, I'm finally working on my film. Um, none of my plugins work. They've updated everything. They've abandoned all the old stuff and, uh, you know, all that money that I spent on plugins and, and features and stuff down the toilet, you know. Um, I mean, I can continue using the old stuff, but, you know, then it's not compatible with anything new that I buy. So I'm just going to give up on that and uh, I'm really trying to focus on getting the characters to look great inside of uh, Unreal. But um, another thing that I, that I kind of recently figured out was, um, you know, like instead of messing with this kind of stuff here, uh, once you set it up, uh, something called Material Instances. Ooh, I'm learning shit. Uh, so like the instances and stuff actually uh, go get away from the whole, like that, that blueprint looking stuff and um, just give you the values that you created. So here I am, I'm able to now to more visually, like using a user interface type of situation, uh, tweak um, the values of what I created in the blueprint. So this is actually pretty cool. And now because of that, I actually understand what was done with some of the post-processing stuff that I, that I purchased. Now, this post-processing stuff is, oh my God, I'm gonna show you guys a video of this later on. 
uh, it's beautiful. It 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 uh, it allows you to create like cartoon effects on the on the three D on the three D stuff, you know, make it look more cell shaded or you know, uh, comic book looking and stuff. The only problem I'm having with that is that it also affects the main character, and I don't want it to do that because you know my characters are already you know stylized the way I want them to be. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out next is how to create that post processing without affecting the main character. All right, so um, there's still a lot of experimentation to, you know, to be done. And how do I get back to, let's try this. Um, I still have a lot to learn. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to mess around with that blueprint thing. And hopefully this is one of those situations where once I, once I set it up, uh, since these are 2D characters, the lighting doesn't change. The green screen is an exact color. So technically all I need to do is plug in the exact color. In my mind anyways, cause, but then again, in my mind, certain things that should be easy uh, just don't happen to be that easy when you put them into practice. So, oh my goodness. Let's uh, reset, reset some of this stuff. See, with, uh, with the more stuff I add to it, the darker it seems to get, like the, as far as the, the environment. So there's a lot of stuff to figure out here. And uh, sometimes I ask myself, what the hell did I get into? But, you know. I think it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. One of the other things that I'm trying to figure out is um, the sound. In previous tutorials and in demos, when you create these textures, you get the option to add the, the sound as part of the whole texture thing uh, so that the, it can be brought in. And ideally, that's what I need because it will allow the sound to stay synchronized with the lip syncing. But it doesn't seem to be the case um, Uh, because at some point during an update, I'm using Unreal Engine 4.23, I believe. Uh, at some point during one of those updates, uh, they they took that feature off, and I just don't know how to do it manually. I'm not. I don't. I don't even know what to look for, you know. But um, we'll have to see, you know. I wish there was a way that I could just kind of. Why can't this stuff be easy, you know? It's it's a video file. Why can't it just have native video support? Hey, I'm gonna drag and drop a video here. I know it's a video. I'm gonna play it as a video. Boom. Why can't it just work? It seems like such a simple operation, but uh, it just feels so clicky-dicky, you know? Clicky-dicky is like a little made-up word that I came up with for stuff that's overly technical, that involves messing around with buttons and la levers and stuff. I'm pretty sure you get the idea. Um, Jesus. All right, well. Experiments will continue, film at 11. We'll talk soon, guys.